I, I hate hearing these stories of girls getting taken advantage of. It's basically, all it is is mastermind manipulation. Yeah. They find your weakness and they use it against you. You know, they use your emotions, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so what, what gets women into these relationships with, I, I mean, they're not really pimps. They're more gang members that are just realizing they can, they can exploit what girls are doing on the street. It's, right? not, it's not even gang members. It's just men, I feel maybe who had past experience with women, m mommy issues, you know, or something. And... But now they're functioning, they're functioning like pimps because they're taking the money that you guys make. Yeah, but they don't call themselves pimps, but they use the pimp mentality in order to get what it is that they want, you know? They're not, they're, it's not like they have holes on the corner and, and, you know, riding around like how, what pimps usually do, you know? They can just be regular guys manipulating women, womanizing to get what it is they want, you know, regardless if they use regardless if they use sex or money, not money, sex or, um, or uh, love. Which is basically anything that draws a woman to a man. To lure you in. To lure you in. And then you once know, you're kind of attached to Once they to know that they have you, they, they'll test you. They'll do little things to see, you know what I'm saying, how you'll react. And once they see that, that you're, they're, they're getting the reaction that they want or you're, you're responding the way they want, they know they got you, you know? And, and a person can only do to you what you allow them. Right. So if you keep allowing it, they're gonna keep doing it. But it just gets worse and worse. But there seems to be a lot of the young girls that are victims of, of this. Yeah. Getting taken advantage of. And they let it go on and they're hoping yeah. for something better, but it's never gonna happen. And it never happens. It never does. It's the definition of sanity. Doing the same thing over and over, maybe with different people, yeah. but always expecting different results. Well, and the maybe, results are always the same. Maybe some of the ladies will watch these videos and figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> because, I mean, the logic in knowing and comprehending what's going on or what somebody's doing to you and still doing the same thing or allowing it to happen, it's insane. And then they'll, they'll, they'll get the girls addicted to meth or crack or whatever. Because that's, that's what happened to me. You know, I was in a relationship, but at the time with a female, you know, um, I was a dancer. She used to work for the refinery, lost her job for whatever reason. I told her, okay, don't worry about nothing, I got it. I paid the bills. I took care of her, her daughter, you know, and it got to a point where I didn't know she was using drugs, but she told me um, one day she was like, I need some more money. And it's like, how do you need some more money? I just gave you $500, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'll give her seven, eight, it depends on how good I do, you know? I didn't happen to with her, but I give her something. And it's like, where's your money going? You don't have to pay for nothing. So what are you doing? I said, and I told her, I said, your money, that the money I give you is your money. What's in my pockets is mine. You can't control or dictate none of that. I don't have to give you nothing but what I want to give you. And that's what triggered it. So she got me started on drugs and she used love. She played on my emotions, you know what I'm saying? My trust for her in order to get me to do it. Because you would never think somebody who loves you or cares about you would sit here and bring such a demonic demon into your life. But she did. And I know this because Years later, she admitted it to me. Cause I asked her like, why did you do this? And she told me, just like how I said it, it's just exactly what she told me. It pissed her off. So it's, it's at some point living this lifestyle where everyone's taking advantage of everybody and it's just, you're disappointed on a daily basis, right? Mm -hmm. Do you ever just like go, what the fuck, let me get out of here? Every day. But, you, but what stops you from doing it? Cause you've been doing it for how long now? For too long, yeah. For way too long. Like a lot, of, a lot of people would watch this video and go, like, just get out. I, I see it's it in not, the comments. It's, it's not that easy. Just to say, hey, okay, I'm gonna get out. If it was that easy, you know what I'm saying? People would do it. It's easier said than done. Yeah. It's hard. Because where are you gonna do? How are you gonna support yourself? How are you? It's gonna... not even about. It's not even about supporting yourself. It's the mental damage, the emotional damage, the spiritual damage. 
you know, that, that shit weighs on you. Yeah, because your self-worth gets beaten down by living this life, right? Yeah, all the way down. You feel broken inside. Yeah. And all this pain and hurt that's inside of you, it's like every day you try to numb it. That's what I think a lot of people don't understand is how destructive this lifestyle is to your psyche, to your self-worth. It is, it is. And every day it gets worse and worse. And, and you worse. guys might look beautiful, you're dressed nicely and, and you, you're certainly very attractive, but your self-worth is in the gutter. And you're doing these things and giving all the money to some stranger, <laughs> some guy that's lying to you and cheating and doing everything. And you put up with it. Whereas most people would be like, no, just, just do the right thing and get out. But you're, you're br so broken that you can't. Is that it? Right. And it's some things that they do, they keep you trapped. Something they keep over, you know what I'm hold over your head. You know, and then it's like the mental just manipulation, you know, because they make you feel like it's your fault. You know, they twist things to make it feel like it's you, it's you, it's you. You know, and then that makes you want to run to the drugs because you're trying to numb it. You're trying to get away. Because that's the only thing that gets you out your head. And I know it sounds crazy or it sounds like an excuse, but it's, it's a reality. How many of the girls are addicted to crack or meth down there? 100%? I've never met anybody who wasn't. Right. <laughs> that's, a, that's the answer. Got, I, I mean, even, they even tell people me, they outside tell me, this lifestyle. They tell me they used to, but the truth is they, they all you still know, are. And it's like everybody has an addiction. Drugs, money, shopping, um, gambling, yeah. coffee, cigarettes, you know? Everybody has an addiction. Mm -hmm. So nobody's really any better than anybody else because it's not about what they're addicted to. It's the feeling or the mental of being addicted. It's like it's hard for some people to stop drinking or stop smoking cigarettes or, you know what I'm saying, with coffee. Some people can't even function in the morning unless they have their coffee. Don't talk to me, I haven't had my coffee, you know? So, it's, it's hard, you know? Some things are easier to deal with, some things affect you differently, like coffee or cigarettes, it's not gonna, you know, um, cause you to go through things that most other people go, to, go through addicted to other things, you know? Right. But, in a way, they're every, it's all destructive. Yeah, I'm, I'm like hoping. smoking cigarettes. Can, you know what I'm saying? It's bad for your health. Coffee is bad for you. All this stuff is bad for you. I'm hoping that enough, if if enough women watch my prostitute and pimp videos, they'll eventually figure out how much of a trap this life is. It is. It's a trap, and sometimes you get trapped without even knowing. No, you're 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 walking into it, going this this feels good. Especially if you're not from the environment where it's created or where it's at. Like, I, I'm not from LA, you know? So when I came, like I said, when I came out here, it was like a movie, like, oh my gosh, like Boys in the Hood or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it's this excitement, because it always looks shiny in the beginning. You know, I'm not saying the prostitution part, all that, that comes later on, you know? But you meet certain people and, you know, they seem a certain way. And you're like, oh, okay, you know? And that comes from bad, uh, bad judgment and character, you know? Did you, tell me about your, your father. My dad, um, he was a good man. He was um, the first black man to make it to nationals in the, in the NHRA. Really? You know? Yeah. So, so your dad was a stand-up guy? Yeah, he, yeah. My dad left the legacy. So you had, a good, you had a good father figure. Yeah, but he wasn't, he was there physically, but emotionally, um, he wasn't, you know, financially he was, but as far as being able to teach me and groom me to know what type of man I'm supposed to be with or what I should allow and not allow, I didn't get that. I lacked that, the love, the affection, you know, I lacked that. So as I got older, I was looking for that. But the places I was looking for, it was all the wrong places, you know? And when people learn your weaknesses or what, what it is that you lack or what it is, you know, that you like or what, what it is you want, they use that against you, you know? And... Are any of these women saving money with their pimps? 
Are they doing what? Yeah, they, they're making a lot of money. They claim to be making a thousand a night or whatever. Are any of them actually saving money? Some do. I had a, I had a, a homegirl that she was putting a little bit, you know what I'm saying, to the side, you know? And it was the same thing. She was in a relationship. She met her dude. He was her chick, you know, before. And they got in a relationship and then he turned into this pimp, you know, or whatever. And I used to watch, like, they would, he would start an argument with her, you know? If he didn't have anything, any drugs and money, he would just, just start an argument out of nowhere and just start talking to her, are you doing this? And, or you have some guy in the house, are you fuck? Just all kinds of shit, just, you know, just to get under her skin, just to make her want to chase what it is to medicate and to numb the bullshit. But she, but she was saving money? She was, you know, but it took a long time for her to break that cycle, you know? It, it took a while. She was the breadwinner. She was paying the bills and all that. But he would throw, this is my place and this, that, and the other, and blah, blah, blah. But it's like, okay, it's your place, but who's keeping it? But 99% of them seem to be Who's keeping it, you know what I'm saying? Nowhere. Yeah, like who's keeping it going? Who's keeping you in this place? Only thing you got going is your name on the lease, that's it. So, yeah, some do and some don't. I used to make that amount when I was dancing, you know, um, or when I was working for the post office, but now, it's, it's not the same, you know, especially with the day-to-day -day life and the shit you have to deal with. But it's like making and having is two different things. You might make it, but what do you have? But it seems like the, the girls get into a, a weaker mental state after doing this for a while than they were when they entered it. Because mm -hmm. someone didn't enter it, enter it willingly. Yeah. They entered it blindly like me, you know? I entered it in a relationship, you know? And then it just started turning into something else, you know? And it's like, once you have feelings, like I'm a Libra and Libras love hard. So once I got, you know what I'm saying? My feelings got involved. It's like things slowly started unraveling. You know what I'm saying? Like things were getting revealed and it's like, I got caught up. I didn't know what I was doing until it was either already done or yeah. I was already in it. And now you're using crack? Now I use, yeah, cocaine, I smoke weed, you know. I'm not, a, I'm not a big drinker, but yeah. And this is not something that I ever thought I would do. And it's crazy because I didn't start dating men. I stopped dating men at the age of 17. I started back at the age of 31. You know, I dealt with women all majority of my life. So me not knowing really how to deal with a man and handle him, yeah. So when they get aggressive, it's like, I don't know how to handle that aggressiveness. I'm not gonna sit here and fight a man. I have two broke fingers from that. You know, this one, I have to get, uh, they have to break it and put it back in place. This one just was recently, you know, and it's just crazy. Yeah, My baby more, daddy. Um, the, the more I learn about this life, and what goes on, the more horrified I get. Yeah. And it's like, I try to do other things. Like I used to, I used to sell drugs. I used to boost. I used to, um, shit, uh, not saying sell women, but if somebody came to me and wanted something, I knew where to go. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was you know what I'm saying, the plug, basically, they used to say. I can plug you to where you need, what you want or what you need or where you need to go. You know, so I, I didn't did it all, you know what I'm saying, jack of all trades. But it's like, after a while, it gets tiring. You know, because what, what, what do I have to show from it? Besides a mental abuse, physical abuse, spiritual, you know what I'm saying, damage. Like, what do I have to show for it? Some people win, you know, some people lose. And some people just stay in the middle, stagnate. What, what, do, you, what do you think would help you get out now? You're so young. Um, I don't want to say a divine intervention, but um, a spiritual breakthrough. Because that's where it starts at, it's the spirit. And it works its way up. Once your spirit's strong, your mind becomes strong. It seems like, you know, I've heard a lot of the pimps say it's, it's all about mind control. And what they do is they break your spirit yeah and then you're defenseless 
you're going to do whatever they want for as long because as... Because especially once you become so dependent on them, because in the beginning they did everything for you. In a, in a regular relationship, you know, you guys go out on a date, they pay for this, they buy you clothes, you know, whatever it is you need. They wine and dine you, give you shelter, whatever it is. Then all of a sudden it's all, oh, it's a, it becomes a struggle, you know, or oh, how are we going to do this? You know what I'm saying? How are we going to get this? How are we going to woo? So then the woman, you know, being the background, okay, baby, um, I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do that, you know? And then that's how it gets, the ball gets started. And, and it's fucked up. And it's like a lot of the women who enter this, you know, like me, I was molested at the age of nine by my cousin. You Are know, you I was molested at the age of nine by my cousin. Cousin. Yeah. Um, and it, it was ongoing for a while. Even as I got older, they would try to make passes at me, you know. But being older, you know, I was able to be more defensive to, you know, okay, like, you know, it's not cool. But as a child, you know, you're trusting, especially a family member, you know, women trust in men to protect them. So I'm thinking that this man who's my family member wouldn't do nothing to harm me. And how he, it's, it's that manipulation. And it's fucked up. Yeah. It's fucked up. Women, you know, men want to be treated as kings, whereas a king, you should treat me as a queen. But when you treat me as a peasant, you know, I, I'll do peasant things. And it's just, it's, it's crazy the way- it's, it's, like, it's like these girls get brainwashed. It's brainwashed. And people be like, oh, pass judgment so quick. You can't pass judgment on nothing that you have not went through, felt, experienced, or endured. If you haven't walked in my shoes, you can't say nothing to me. You cannot judge me. The only thing you can do is feel for me. Other than that, your opinion is, is, is it, it, it has no mean, it means nothing to me. Because how can, that's like if somebody's mother passed and I say, oh, I understand or I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? I feel, how can you understand what I'm going through and you never went through it? Your mother's still alive. So how can you tell me you understand what I'm going through and you never felt it? How can you sit here and tell me, oh, I need to do this, that, and the other, and you've never done what I've done? How can you advise me on something that you can't even understand? So until you walked the path I walked, you know, it's like you can't, you can't, you can't judge me. The only person who can judge me, first of all, is God. And clearly nobody's a God. So until you've done that, just, you know, if you can't motivate or be inspiring or helping, you know, just stay away. Keep your comments to yourself. Because you don't know me, you don't know my story. We're all books. We're all books. People judge the covers of the books without even getting the chance to read the story. But if you want to know me to be able to judge me or understand me, read my story. In order for you to read my story, you have to listen, understand, comprehend, take heed to what it is I'm showing you, telling you, or where I'm presenting you. Because you can read a person, you can understand a person, but you have to pay attention. Don't judge me off of what you see. Judge me off of what you hear from me, what you, exp what you see from me. But see, there's fictional books and there's, and there's facts. Some people, you know, will give you a fictional story, you know? And there's some people who will give you the facts. So it's sometimes it is hard to know who a person is or what, who they are or, or where they're, uh, what type of character they are because they'll play a role. They'll put a, a facade up, you know, for you to see them the way they want you to see them or for you to fall into whatever it, the lies or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying, the motive they have on even you know, displaying this false character. 
I take people at face value. Because who are you? Who am I for you to lie to me? Show me who you are, and I'll show you who I am. And at that point, we can decipher if we want to deal with each other. That's, it doesn't have to be in a relationship. That's with anybody. I don't have time to sit here and, and be Tom, Dick, Harry, Larry, Mary, Sarah, whoever, for me to gain anything from you because that's too much to keep up with. Accept me for who I am or don't accept me at all. And I'm fine with that. But this is me. Either you accept what I've been through, what I'm going through and where I'm at and where I wanna be. And if you can't help me get from where I'm at to where I wanna be, then you're not for me. People always think that if they can show something materialistic, that, that some people fall for that. They want the materialist. I don't care nothing about that. Because all that shit can be replaced. You can burn a hundred dollar bill and it, you'd be given another one. A replica, the same one. This building can burn down, they can build another one. Your car can, you know what I'm saying, uh, blow up and you can get the exact same goddamn car. Same year, same color, same everything. But once I'm gone, you're gone, and whoever's gone, I'll never be replaced. I'm gone. So I care about love, honesty, respect, loyalty, trust, and to be genuine with it. That's what I want. And see people take advantage of that. They don't try to sit here and lure me in with materialistic things. They try to lure me in with a person that they know they can never be, or that they're not. But by playing the role, they know they can get what it is they want. And it sucks. All right, Trina. Thank you for the interesting conversation. Thank you. I hope it helps somebody, you know? Yeah, I think it might. Hopefully these videos help yes. young girls figure out what's, what's up and what's not. Yeah, you know? Because you gotta love yourself. You know, you gotta know yourself. You gotta know your self-worth. And especially after you have lost that or have lost sight of that, it's hard to get it back. But if you want better for you, you have to. Because that's the page I'm on. I have to want better for me. Because if I don't want better, I won't have better. If I want the same, same thing, I'll be stagnated where I'm at and with what I'm getting in the, in the environment that I'm in. So the change comes within us. If we don't make a change, won't nothing change. You gotta change people, places, and things. Awesome. Thank you. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was amazing. Thank you. That was such a nice experience.